Hey there, Wendy here with Jazzy Doodle. <laughs> Do we need the blooper reel for the introduction? Let's try it again, shall we? Hey there, Wendy here with Jazzy Doodle Designs. And if you're new to my channel, you know, those kind of things aren't that uncommon. So prepare yourself. <laughs> but today what I thought I'd do is kind of go through this big stack of books and just talk about, you know, all of my dreams for what I could color in August. And I say dreams because the stack, there's no way I can get everything done that I'm thinking. But I'm going to start with a few of the givens. So let me get rid of the stack. So first off, it's a given I'm going to be working in this book. So in order to complete this book, we got to keep on keeping on, right? So what I thought I would do is um, my next color along, I might just choose the page. But then I'm going to put up a poll. I'm going out of town Saturday through Thursday, and then I'll be back. And I have no more traveling plans. And um, so what I'm going to do is put up a poll with several pages and let you all choose what you would like to see me work in. And I might even put up a medium um, poll. In other words, do you want to see me work in ink tents? Do you want to see pen pastels? Do you want to see um, Neo Color 2? Something like that. Um, so we'll definitely be working in there and I don't really have like a page picked out at this point. I was kind of leaning maybe towards something like this and because I'm thinking I probably won't get a color along, well I know I won't get a color along done before I leave and so when I come back, I was thinking maybe I would try and take on like a two page spread. So that's my thought. But like I said, I want you guys to have involvement in this. And so I will, I'll probably throw up a poll um, later on this week. Okay, next up is coloring with your octopus, which if you haven't seen the flip along, definitely I'll throw it up. Um, there'll be a description can you talk, Wendy? Nope. Um, there will be a link in the description to the flip through. This book is hilarious. I just really enjoy it. And Sherry um, and Coloring Biker Mama, um, Jolanda, she is a new channel, so I encourage you to check her out. I'll put her link in the description box below. Sherry has an Instagram, so I'll put hers up there too. But we're going to do a color along on this page. So I'm going to try and do that. Um, I'm going to try and do this as a color along, but we shall see timing wise what works out. Right now I'm thinking um, maybe Neo Color 2s. I'm going to maybe try those out on this page. I'm thinking I might like the kind of watercolory type of background and then and then details with pencils. Hold on just a minute. Ellie Ellie needs down. Okay. Um so that's kind of my thought right now. I'm not sure the paper is pretty smooth and it's it's not see-through by any means, but you can tell it's not like cardstock either. So we shall see. So that is a thought um, or a definite thing I'm going to be working it. Now, getting into the maybes, I think I've talked about this one before. To be honest, I'm kind of been putting this off a little bit. Uh, Jolene asked me to color this page. She's a subscriber on the channel. She wants to give it to her daughter for Christmas. So, you know, no pressure. But the challenge I'm having is she wanted me to use Crayola pencils. 
Now, I tried them in my Disney book and I wasn't thrilled with them. I haven't tried them on this paper yet, so we shall see. But my goal is to get this one done in August because I, I really want to give her some time if she's going to follow my color along to get it colored and then I don't know if she's framing it or doing what she's doing but I want to give her some time too so this is going to be a priority in August so we'll see how that one goes now next up are all of my maybes now I just got this wild summer and there are some really cool pictures in this and I don't really have one picked out a couple that popped out to me this sandcastle one um there's a bees one this frog one This one with the bees and the honey. So these are kind of some that just jumped out at me when I was doing the color along. Um, there's quite a few in this book that I think would be really cool. Um, this octopus love potion. Um, might save that one for February maybe. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Um, this is a really cute book. Joseph Cannonbang. Um, did a really great job. So it's on my maybe list. I have had the Eerie books. I have all three. Haven't colored in a single one. Which is terrible. Because these are such amazing books. And so this is something that I definitely want to work in one of the Eerie books. It might be this one. The other two are equally as good. So I guess I'm just going to have to just see what jumps out at me. I've talked about it before, but I really enjoy coloring food. And there's some really cool pages like this one. Um, and even like the flower. No, this one. I really like this page. Um, these little carts with the food. I just... They're just, there's something about it that I really enjoy. And so I thought maybe I might dive into this book. So that's on my maybe. I've had, every time I do a, a color along in this book, people request more. And uh, I can never say no because, once again, it's just adorable. And there are a couple that I'm interested in. So, um, so we shall see. This might be something, uh, that I dive into probably by the end of the year. The one I'm leaning towards is this page right here. Um, I just think it screams summer and I'm thinking I better get on it because we're nearing the end of summer here so um so yeah so this is in my definite maybe you notice how my plans are well maybe <laughs> but i definitely tend to color just kind of what inspires me in the moment i've also had a couple of requests uh to color in this book this is a new book that i just got and it too just has these darling characters and lots of food and um, fun little pages with these adorable little bears, bunnies and whatnot. This one's mostly bears. There is a bunny one, but look at the little vegetables. I just, yeah. So uh, look at the giraffe. I mean, just stinking cute. Um, I think they're planning like a wedding in this book, but I had at least two requests on the flip through alone asking me to color in it. So it's on my most likely, um, I'm going to try and get something done in August. This book also has been calling out to me and 
I know I'm leaning towards doing this double page spread in October, so I may I may save it for that. But look at this cute little fisherman page. This is the one that I don't know. We fish, so it just kind of jumps out at me, and it's just adorable. So I'm leaning towards that page in this book. So it is also on my <laughs> maybe list. Guys, I wish there was just more time. I want more time. But, you know, every page that I do, then I got to edit it and upload it and do those kind of things too. Um, in addition to dishes. And my husband likes to eat, which I think is totally unreasonable. But, um, <laughs> like I don't like to eat either. Um, of course, we all love to eat. So I have to do those things too. And then I just got this beautiful book and it's screaming to me to be colored in because some of these pages are just, they're just the cutest. Um, there's one here in the back that really gets to me. Look, like, look at the little sleeping mice. Oh my gosh. Um, this is one that I can honestly say I would consider like maybe doing a project book to color all the pages in it because the paper looks fantastic. The images are fun. Um, I like supporting, uh, I can't, I can't call her local. She lives in Sweden, but you know, um, individual artists, let's put it that way. So those are my thoughts. And then of course I only have 12 pages in this book. So I really want to finish this by the end of the year. So, so many choices, so little time. Do you guys have that problem too? Let me know in the comments, um, what you'd like to see and, um, I should probably mention that I may take this one on my trip with me because it's a small book. It's, it's, it's not too thick. It's not too big. It fits in your, your little backpack really good with, um, maybe my Posca pencils because there's only 36 and, um, you know, just challenge myself because I doubt if I'll have a whole lot of time to color while I'm gone. And that doesn't really help you guys because any of that coloring, you you know I'm not filming it. So anyway, those are my thoughts for July. I appreciate you hanging out with me and sticking with me during this, what's turning out to be exceptionally busy uh, July and August. And in case you don't know, I broke my leg. So that's kind of an added um, pain. <laughs> it makes, uh, you know, filming and stuff a little more challenging, trying to figure out where to put my leg and all of that while I'm trying to film. So um, appreciate you sticking with me. And I hope you're having a fantastic summer. And until next time, we'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching another video from Jazzy Doodle Designs. If you enjoy adult coloring content, please consider subscribing. You can now find me on Instagram and Facebook as well. I welcome all comments and suggestions. Don't forget to like the video before you go. And until next time, take care.